on YouTube. Ever since we made that video last year about my mom, a bunch of you have been asking us, why are you always talking about your mom and never about your dad? And it's true, we hardly ever say a word about our dad, and that's simply because he doesn't want us to. He's really discreet. But as soon as we showed him all of your comments and he realized that our mom was becoming a mega superstar, strangely enough, all of a sudden he gave us permission. So here we go, and believe you me, we won't go easy on him. Oh no. Kevin and Henry Tran, my dad. So first of all, my father talks in a special kind of way. He studied literature and always sounds like his head's in the cloud. He doesn't have an Asian accent or anything, but he speaks really slow in a very soft voice, articulating every single word. Listen, Henry, I'm not going to give you a moral lesson, okay? But, uh... And the thing is, all he ever says are universal truths, like Yoda. I've never heard him joke around, and even when he says something banal, it sounds like a proverb. You know, when you choose not to do the dishes and just leave the plates there lying around, it stinks. My dad had a very difficult childhood at the time. There were a lot of wars in Asia. In short, it was hell. Which is why he always takes a step back to look at things so even when something bad happens, he keeps things in perspective. So any problems Henry and I have, I'm telling you, he couldn't care less. But dad, I don't get it. It's only been two months since I got my Wii U and it's already fried. Just when I was about to be Bowser, game over. I'm gonna have to cough up 300 euros for a new console. What the fuck? Mm, back in my day with your 300 euros, I used to bribe the guard to be able to leave the village just to buy an ice cream. And the game over was your own death. Do you have to kill the moon with your stories every single time? It's so depressing. However, when we're on the subject of my report card, there, he loses all notion of what's important or not. Okay, I got a zero. There are worse things in life, like war and all that. Oh, I forgot to specify that he was Ink Dan in Duster Kendo. <laughs> the art of wrist whipping. He even taught my mom how to master it. Which makes me wonder how my parents ended up together. They both have such different personalities. On one side, my dad, mild and even-tempered. On the other, my mom, the buffalo. Oh, I don't want you to have a girlfriend, Henry! She'll distract you from your studies! Go ahead, tell him! I agree uh, with uh, your mother. Well, yell at him, will you? Tell him a girlfriend will only cause him a lot of trouble! I can confirm that, my son, that it'll cause you nothing but trouble. Just look. What? Oh yeah, his camera. My dad takes photos of everything. I know it's an Asian cliche, and I hate to admit it, but he always has his camera right there in his jacket pocket. As soon as he sees something out of the ordinary, he whips it out and immortalizes it. We gave him a hangable tripod for his birthday and he was overjoyed. He went straight outside to play with it. We didn't see him for three days. And because he takes so many photos, we decided to give him the nickname Paparazzi. We called him that so often he got upset. My dad doesn't really have much of a sense of humor. He doesn't really like to fool around. For example, our videos, they never make him laugh. He doesn't get the jokes at all. No, but seriously, you didn't even laugh once. Come on, admit it. It's really funny. It's got good punchlines, doesn't miss a beat. It even has a surprise ending. What, what, what's this button? Uh, that's the dislike button. It's for when you don't like a video. What do I do to, uh, click on it? When it comes to technology, my dad is a disaster. You may think your dad is too, but mine takes it to a whole new level. He just bought himself the new iPhone, and he's so bewildered by it, he only uses it to take photos. I try to be patient when I'm explaining something to him, but sometimes I think he's just messing with me. Son, I have to download some videos for my work from that YouTube thing, but how do I do it? It's simple, you go to VDZ.com and drag the link. Hold on, hold on. You always go too fast. Repeat. Okay, go on Google. Let me note that. Google Chrome. He writes everything down on a little piece of paper, then loses it and asks us to repeat it all. But the worst thing is he doesn't get how outmoded and old-fashioned he is. Sometimes he tries talking to us, acting young and cool, using slang, but it's all wrong. Get ready, because the following actually happened. Tell me, Henry, how you been getting on with all the uh, beaches? Have you been, uh, uh, getting any? Bruh. Well, we're on the subject of girls. We've never even had one conversation about love or sex with my dad. It's something Asians rarely talk about. So guess what? He thinks neither Henry or I have ever gotten laid. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why he tries to give us advice, even though it's advice from the old days. You have to show your girlfriend how much you love her, so write her a nice poem. Nah, these days, the more distant you are, the better things go. That's because you're too eager to find a beach. But if you want one that blows your mind... Ah, that's where he's right on the money! Anyway, happy Father's Day. We love you, and we hope you don't mind us making fun of you in this video. But then again, you probably didn't get the jokes. As always, if you enjoyed this video, share it and like it with a yellow thumb. You can also subscribe... Henry! What? Come here, will ya? Hold on a second. What? I'm trying to watch here on the TV 
The recent video that you made about me. It's not on the TV, it's on the computer. Open the computer. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding. You don't have to write that down. Just go to YouTube and type Larry or Joan. Yeah, but it says here I have to accept all the cookies. And so? Well, well, I am on a diet. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe.